All right, Relink gamers, we are back here with more Grand Blue Fantasy Relink for you guys. Um, yeah, so we we are in, to my understanding, sort of the very beginnings here, the beginning beginning of the end game, right? Or the uh, the, the the proper post game, maybe is, is the correct way to say that, right? We did in fact finish the epilogue last time. Very nice, you know. Once again, the story is the story is, is obviously it's not it's nothing surprising, but it's nice, right? It's just enjoyable. It's positive. It's got some nice some nice messages in there. Roland's back. Spoiler alert, right? If you if you were not uh, familiar, we got we did get Roland back at the end of this one. So now everything is sort of you know it's, it's all happily ever after. Surely nothing will ever go wrong ever again. And uh, and now we're just yeah we're we're out here in, in the end game. I guess the goal is just going to be we got to get obviously we got to get uh, to level 100. We got to get Vasaraga's best weapon. We got to max him out. We got to beat at least the Lucillus uh, fight, right? Maybe get everything we need from the Lucillus fight too, and that'll kind of be where we uh, where we maybe call it for relink at least temporarily here on the channel. We may definitely revisit it at some point, but that. I, I know I said that in like 30 seconds, but that everything I just mentioned there is probably going to be like, you know, a very long road ahead of us. So we're not exactly close to being done just yet. But a couple of things before we get started here. So just pe some things that people have mentioned to me based on uh, questions that I asked in the last video, which thank you very much, by the way, for the, uh, the, the advice and tips, folks. So one of the things is I was asking about, um, so whether or not this level three transmutation that Sierra here has got is is the best one, right? And whether that we should be that that's worth dumping all of our vouchers into. And the answer I got was like kind of like technically yes, and also for the second question, yes. Uh, there is so that the trans marvel thing that I, I thought I saw at the bottom left corner there, that word is real. I knew that word was real because I'd heard of it. But apparently maybe we unlock it when we uh if we like get to proud difficulty or something, like we have to beat all of those little uh, we have some rank up quests there in Maniac, and maybe once we beat all of them we get trans marvel. But regardless uh, the more it's like basically the more vouchers you spend, the the more that like you, the more trans marvels you can do or something like that, and it starts counting even before you unlock it. So for all, uh, to my understanding, there is no reason to not just if we want to, you know, go through this level three transmutation and just throw a bunch of vouchers at it, and then the the trans marvel gives better stuff, but it, it's not going to hurt us if we spend our vouchers on level three transmutation here as well. Uh, what was it? There's the sigils here, right? Yeah, yeah, so uh, I was asking if, um, so p people apparently do, for the most part, it seems people agree, the Ebony's presence here is, eh, not so good, but apparently there is a, uh, another special sigil here, okay, people say it was gold Dahlia badges, I think, there's a sec, yeah, yeah, so there's, there's an, another, um, set of unique sigils here for every, for every character, and it is going to be Ebony's poise here for Vasaraga, which is apparently a little bit better. Shortens Vasaraga's skill cooldowns whenever he lands a charged heavy. And so a max charge is minus 8%, right? I mean, maybe not. Maybe it's, it's specifically a max level 3 or level 2 charge, but regardless, a max charge heavy, yeah, is minus 8% cooldown. So that is a really big deal, right? That one, people are like, oh, no, this is the good one. And yes, no, yeah, I, I agree, right? Especially with uh, with with Undying, right? Um, I guess with, with Great Scythe and things like that too, right? Um, so so I, I like this a lot. I like the idea of this. Uh, I know, I, so I have, I have sort of been... Like, I, I accidentally did stumble upon the idea that apparently there are builds for Vasarago where you kind of just dump all of your skills, and there's this uh, less is more sigil, I think it's called, where, like, the, the fewer the, the fewer skill slots you have that are full, the more attack you get, right? So that's an, an option, too. Obviously, if you're doing that, then Ebony's Poise here is probably pretty worthless, but it's a whole different kind of build, right? So it's, it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, yeah, good to know, but we, we don't even have any of these gold Dahlia badges. How many do we need for Ebony's Poise here? Seven, okay. We, we'll, we'll look into quick quests, uh, not right now, but, uh, you know, when we, soon, for sure. But I, I think I want to at least, you know, maybe get through all of my high rank or rank up quests there, because there, there actually are, uh, let me let me show instead of telling here. There are still a few of those orange sword quests, right? Which I imagine, basically, uh, if you go to undertake quest here, right? There's all those orange sword quests. So those aren't going to be for getting Roland's journal anymore, because we already got all of that. But I imagine that these are all Maniac quests, and when we finish these, we'll unlock Proud quests, right? Well, it's sort of like what happened with Hard and Extreme, right? So they're just uh, rank-up quests, essentially. Um, one last thing before we get going. Someone did was talking about, hey, you need to... There's this guy, I think he shows up right around here, right? He has this repeatable side quest that gives you a bunch of mastery points and things like that for just some fire shards and, I think, wind shards? And that's obviously a really nice repeatable side quest, but I don't think we have him unlocked yet because I think we need to do more side quests in Folka. Because it's like, the more side quests that you do in Folka, the more side quests you unlock. Uh, and, and like, it kind of just, as you complete, you know, one set, a new set starts spawning in. So I don't think we're at uh, the point where he's he's ready to talk to us yet. But for example, this guy right here, uh, he'll give us three legendary merits for three large Fortitude Crystals. What the hell? That's that's like the, the greatest trade deal in the history of humanity. What what in God's name? Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go around real quick here, and I'm going to just uh, go through and just collect a bunch of these side quests off screen. I'll let you know if anything particularly interesting happens. But after that, we will get into these maniac quests, and it should be a really good time.
Also, here's something interesting, as I've just been going around collecting these side quests. So again, if you don't know, uh, whenever you go into, uh, whenever whenever you load up Lyria's journal, that will sort of reset the instance, right? Uh, so uh, when we see, for, when we say, for example, when you complete a bunch of side quests, then a new group will spawn. That'll only spawn the next time you leave and re-enter the village. We can do that really easily by just opening up Lyria's journal. But anyways, I think I found our first sort of repeatable side quest here. This is not the one that people are talking about, right? It needs... Uh, uh, five wind shards and five water shards from us, right? But this is 700 max. I just handed this in, and then when I reloaded the instance, here he is again, willing to give me 700 more mastery points, right? So if you if you uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, though, again, most of you I think are further along in this game than I am, but just for for the purposes of illustration there. So we just handed in that side quest, right? We go into Lyria's journal and we come back out, and there he is again, ready with the exact same quest, right? So we're out of wind shards now. But this is good to know. So wind shards, water shards, fire shards, and earth shards are all useful, right? Because that's that's some that's some really like, that we just got twenty one hundred mastery points off of that guy. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go round up the rest of these side quests. But that's just a little bit of interesting tidbit there. We do have our first repeatable quest, so we're hopefully not too far off from getting the other one. Forget not too far off. He's right here. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so we do have him now. Look at this. We have thirty seven uh, fire shards and fifty six earth shards, and for every five, he'll give us seven hundred mastery points, right? The other thing too. Uh, so we'll, we'll hand this in. And we'll I'll, I'll I'll do this loop. Uh, I don't want you to just watch me loading up Lyria's journal and going back over and over. But the one thing, too, we were having some rupee troubles back in the day, right? The side quests, man, especially the non-repeatable ones, give you an absurd amount of rupees. So at least in the short term here, I, I, am, I am good on rupees. I know eventually, as we as we actually manage to uncap some weapons and have to level them up, I'm sure we'll burn through this like nobody's business, but it is nice to get that big cushion all of a sudden here. But yeah, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to just uh, milk this man for all the mastery points he's worth, and then we'll be right back. All right, and that's all of it. Man, look at that. We got, we got 8,000 mastery points, man. Jesus. Okay. Awesome. Uh, who, who, who are you? Oh, this is the same guy. Yeah, this is the guy with the uh, the wind and water shard. We might as well accept it right now. We'll go. We don't have any of the... We've used up all of our shards, uh, or at least we don't have enough of both shards anymore to hand in either of the quests. But that is some 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 good eats, man. Um, I'm going to go to Seed Hollow real quick, because I think there's a couple of side quests that I can report there, but then we'll be back in Folka and we'll, we'll look at spending, again, this 8,000 mastery point bounty that we just found ourselves in possession of. Okay, so I went through and reported a bunch of stuff in Seed Hollow. We do still actually have quite a few uh, a few things here, but these should be, hopefully, besides the repeatable, we have, like, actual one-time quests. I think we're pretty early on in the Seed Hollow quests, too, because we're not really getting uh, very good rewards from them just yet, right? Some of the Folka quests before we got to the repeatable ones were, like, 125,000 rupees, whereas this is, you know, 5,000 5, right here, for example. Um, but... Yeah, so we'll, 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 we should be able to get a lot of these as we sort of go, right? Like Rock Golems, Taiyuatars, Magma Worms, Wyverns. It's, it's, it's all stuff that'll just happen as we play the video game. So uh, no, nothing to worry about there. Uh, let's go back to the docks just because... No, I guess we should say in Seed Hollow. Yeah, I was going to say because... Uh, I was going to say full, uh, Seed Hollow is just a little bit loud. Honestly, there's a little bit too much uh, ambient noise. Uh, whereas Folk is a little bit smaller, easier to get around. But we have fast travel and also there's Zathba's appraisals here. So in case we do end up wanting to go through and do any curio stuff, it's uh, it's better this way. Um, but yeah, so we have, like, 8,000 mastery points to spend. We will certainly do this. I can't uncap Soul Eater yet, can I? I know I, I might need a few more, uh, legendary merits, but I think I have most of everything else? No, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, we're missing a bunch of Silver Wolf stuff, yeah. So a bunch of Galanza stuff, I think. And then, uh, some legendary merits, we have to fight a Nazar Banjo. Okay, so we're not quite, we're not super close just yet. Um, but, oh! Let me, let me very quickly, I think we finished Catalina's Fate episodes uh, in the, was it the last uh, episode or something? I, I'm losing track of, of my uh, my time a little bit here, but at the very least, yeah, we do have a Mirage Munition there. So we can put that on Soul Eater, once again, from finishing Catalina's Fate episodes. It's nice, right? You, just, you, uh, you engage with some story, you get stats. It's a great time to be alive. Oh, there's a guy with a quest for me to pick up right there, too. I will certainly do exactly that. Uh, but first, no, not Forge. I want to upgrade, and I want to put one of these, one of them here, Mirage Munitions, right into good old Soul Eater. Wonderful. It is nice. You can just take them on and, and uh, take them off and put them on at, at your own leisure, right? What do you want, old man? Hello. Uh, flame Gyres. Oh, yeah. There's a little ball, guys. Sure, 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 sure. Um, okay, cool. Oh, and there's another one right here. Oh, I guess, yeah, because we went into Lyria's journal, so I guess it reloaded the instance. Oh, we can actually hand this one into this guy. He wants some, some bleak bones, apparently. I guess you get those by uh, the little, killing the little guys, right? Uh, but yeah, so we have 8,405 mastery points. I don't know if that'll be enough to finish Vasaraga's offensive mastery tree, but it should at least get us pretty down close, right? Uh, yeah, 3,600 for this way. And for that way, wonderful. We're not 100% done yet because there is some stuff in the back there that we did end up not going through. Uh, so yeah, skill damage cap, for example, we'll gladly take that. Um, damnation sucks, but skill damage cap and attack we will still need, yeah. so we'll take that too. Uh, there you go. Uh, greatly extends the duration of jammed effects from damnation. I don't even think I want that necessarily, but 
at the same time, I kind of do want that. Like that, that thing saying 98% completion is going to bug me. So I'm going to, I, I do want it to get to 100. So we are going to do this. Uh, oh God. Am I missing? Where, where, where's the, where's the one that we haven't done? Uh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's good. You can zoom out this far, I suppose. I'm just looking for any, any gray. Hold up. We need 100% on this or I'm going to be uh, upset. And I think we have the mastery points for it. It's just a matter of finding the gray slot. There you go. There's one. Boost attack power. Oh, that's actually important too. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, there you go. So that's 100% offense for Vasaraga. Uh, obviously, there's there is over masteries, right? So we unlocked those last time, and it's uh, you know you just you spend. It's basically mastery gotcha as far as I can tell. So that's useful. But I think still, even though the defense isn't quite as important, I think pound for pound, the defensive mastery tree is going to be more useful than just like the random sort of scatter shot that we might get from. Uh, from overmastering, oh. so we'll we'll get to 100% defense, uh, and then we'll 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 go from there. Uh, okay. Yes, and yeah. yes, all this. I mean, this this early stuff too is really cheap. And I mean, like, yeah, like this takes some 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 general. Uh, the, the idea is obviously don't get hit forehead, but still a little bit more health, a little bit more uh, resistance to certain debuffs or certain status effects, right? It's the kind of thing that, like, at the end of the day, we we do make mistakes. So it's good to uh, give ourselves a little bit more rope to work with. It's not nearly as important as the offensive stuff, okay. which is why we did the offensive stuff first, right? But uh, yeah. Filling all of this out is—I is, don't think we're ever going to be uh, upset at the, at the fact that we did that. Uh, yeah, we can get a bunch more health here. Not bad, not bad. Um, I mean, if we, if we can get keep getting those fire shards and wind shards, we'll have that mastery stuff done in no time. But okay, nice. Um, we'll, we'll eventually also—I'll see. Like people have told me, basically now that we're in maniac and maybe even when we get to proud, the AI does start needing at least a little bit. Oh yeah, we got an extra sigil slot. Oh, hold on. Okay, so we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, the AI does start needing a little bit more in terms of stat investment, right? To not just completely get uh, murdered at every single turn, essentially, because there tends to be more bosses, so more hitboxes, so more opportunity for the AI to get caught out in like their third dodge or something like that. So we we shall see, we shall see. But uh, for now, I'm going to just stick to boosting Vasaraga as much as I can. And if we run into another sort of wall there where the AI starts failing us like they did before, uh, we'll see if there's something quick and easy I can do to fix that, like what we did with just giving Rockham perfect dodge, right? Um, but yeah, so one thing we discovered last time as well that we are very, very much hitting damage cap. Um, we're actually kind of hitting damage cap with, with time to spare, right? We hit damage cap on our heavies. Uh, our heavies have more things boosting them than our lights, so it makes sense they're ahead, and heavies matter the most anyway. But we're, we're hitting damage cap on our heavies when we crit before we even get the attack up from, from Grenoth, right? So uh, we are leaving a lot of damage on the table, and it feels, it, it seems to me that basically yeah, more damage cap up is easily the most important thing for us right now. It does suck that we only have damage, ca uh, damage cap up three from the looks of things. Um, links together five, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want order acquired, though. Can you sort? I want to sort by rarity. Wait. Yes. Yeah, that works. Um, yeah, so we don't have any damage cap 4, I don't think. What the heck? Why, why are basic stats in here? I said attack. Is Does health 3 plus? Oh, because it has guard payback on it. Oh, I see, I see. I see, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So we only have uh, we only have threes, but I think yeah, I think damage cap three right now is still just going to be by far the uh, the most important thing for us, right? Because we're I mean, any other attack boosting sigil does literally nothing because we uh, we already hitting damage cap. Um, yeah, so we're at damage cap eight, huh? I almost even wonder like crit rate's important because crits are actually what get us to damage cap, right? But after that, I wonder like you know, could something like charge attack damage or something like that be better served as being replaced with another damage cap sigil? But it would take us to 36% up, basically. It depends by how much we're, we're... I can't exactly tell how much we're overshooting the damage cap by. For now, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do this. Uh, adding the extra damage cap there is never going to hurt us, right? And, and we'll go from there. Got a new trophy. God tier. What is God tier? Is that because we have uh, characters' masteries completely filled out? I assume so. Or, or one, one section of them. We had 100% on boss there. We got a silver spell book. Don't mind if I do. Um, I will give that to Vasaraga. Um, we, we have been, the, the copper spell books are nice to, to get people up to uh, level 60 so we can do all their fate episodes, right? Uh, but the silver spell books are still useful enough, like they give enough experience that it is still worth throwing them into Voss, I think. Um, I guess we'll get to level 100 pretty soon here anyways, huh? Yeah, it's only one level. Maybe, you know what, maybe, uh, the silver spell books, it might be better, we might be better served, like, putting them on, let's say, id. Sure, yeah. Right, because Id, I think Id Rockham, Id Rockham Captain, it, it hasn't let me down so far. I think I'm okay with keeping, uh, keeping those guys as like the sort of primary members of the party until I get a reason not to. So we can, they're they're falling behind in experience because we gave Voss a bunch of books last time, including a gold spell book. So we can we can start uh, catching them up with those books here. Anyways, that's uh, enough dilly dallying here. We have maniac bosses to fight. 
Golemology 103. Forest Golems. Don't mind if I do. Um, clear within 10 minutes. Make a Rock Golem tumble two times. That's fine. Our heavies tend to do that pretty consistently, in my experience, so that's okay. Uh, sorry if you can hear this banging in the background, by the way. I think somebody's working on something upstairs. You know how it is. Upstairs neighbors be like... Um, don't air critical, critical condition more than two times. Okay, sure. And we get legendary merits. That's good, which I definitely need. Uh, I think someone wanted us to kill some rock golems for a side quest, too, so you're not going to see me complaining. Garrison. That's nice. Good again. Give the, those sort of defensive sigils that let you live longer, I think, are good for our AI companions, potentially. Silver Centrum. Ooh, okay. So we we, we do start... Mar oh, this just drops Mirage Munitions, huh? Oh, we're getting we're getting for real, for real. I see. Because, I mean, you can put 99 on these, but so far, the only way for us to get those has been Fate episodes, so it's good that we might start getting, uh, you know, actual consistent ways to get that now. Steel nerves. I don't know what steel nerves is. I mean, I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm like a kid in a candy store right now because there's all this cool stuff dropping from these maniac quests that I'm not familiar with. These guys are weak to wind, so they're weak to the captain. That doesn't matter, unfortunately. Unless somebody is weak to us, the rest of our party does fundamentally no damage. They're just there for like skybound darts and link attacks. Um, but hopefully, we. Uh, I, feel, I feel I feel big. I feel strong. I feel powerful. I don't think we should have trouble with these rock golems. There are two of them, so that's good. That could be you know I could see how that could be a problem, right? But. Uh, I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. How could we not be fine? Oh, it, do we start off with one? I thought it said defeat two. Maybe the maybe it's like a Bell Gargoyles thing from Dark Souls. You know, like uh, one of them joins after we do a certain amount of damage, or, do, or is it sequential? If it's sequential, that's even easier. Wait, is it just defeat Rock Golem? Oh, maybe maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it wasn't two. Oh, I'm actually surprised I didn't knock him down. Oh, we're out of range. I think. Yeah, yeah. The slow almost kept him in range long enough, but no, no such luck. Uh, get bonked, get link attacked. Yeah, I think we are. We're hitting damage cap, right? Um, I think. Anyway, it's hard. I, I'm still bad at like actually. Oh, I see. He's coming back. I shouldn't have canceled my heavy. Uh, I'm still bad at like figuring out when exactly damage cap is being hit outside of just doing the thing over and over and seeing that it's the same number over and over. Bury this. Didn't quite manage that, but it's okay. Hey, see, see there's our, our defensive uh, our defensive masteries helping us out a little bit there. They're probably a big part of why we were able to uh, survive that. Also, don't mind me just incredibly casually perfect guarding this dude. Get absolutely destroyed. I thought I could make him tumble a lot easier than this. Or do I have to like hit him in the legs, maybe? I Yes. I mean I think I am. For all intents and purposes. He's slowed. Wonderful. Keeps him in range for this. Yeah, so for example, the fact that it's 44988 eight, all over and over again there, that's very clearly damage cap. Get a wreck nerf. Could you could you tumble, please? Can I? I can't even target his legs. My options are target his uh, his arms or his torso, right? So I can't imagine his arms are what we want to do. We want to hit him in the torso. Hopefully swipe out his legs from under him there, I imagine. Get parried, nerfed. Wait, 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 wait. I actually did parry part of it. That's good. I got hit by part, but I parried the second attack, I think. So it was, it was you know, we intentionally uh, parried something and it worked. I'll take that. Okay, he's going to overdrive now. I tried to parry that with uh, with the heavy, but it seems I can't. Bloodthirst. What is Earthshaker? Okay. Okay. Well, there's. Uh, luckily, we have guts now too. Uh, I'm just gonna undying. Yeah, I don't see why not. But yeah, we we did get we have guts on one of our damage cap sigils, so that's why we survived with one HP there. We got you know we're, we 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 got, we got things. We got we got shooters. We got tech to keep us alive. Bonk. We get link attack. And bonk. And one of those. I'm not gonna super. Uh, maybe I'm. Uh, no, I'm not gonna skybound. I would like to get. I would like to save my skybound to potentially get uh, some some double link action. What is he doing? Oh, nothing good. Perfect guard. Oh, apparently I got sent into critical. Uh, Undying did wear off right then. My bad. It's okay. We can still bonk him pretty hard here. I think this golem is gonna have enough HP that I don't have to worry about killing him before we can get uh, like the link and the skybound dart and the second link off, which is why I'm uh, hesitant to. Uh, we just pop the Skybound Dart right now, because if you don't know, Full Burst basically gives you 100% link gauge. Oh, we made him tumble. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so if that counts, then probably hitting him with the Full Burst is also going to count. That's good to know. So we'll, we should have this uh, that second objective in the bag there. Nice, perfect dodge by me, if I do say so myself. Get Reckner. And not quite link time, but we'll get it next time. And then we can basically link time, Skybound Dart, link time. And that'll be a whole lot of damage to his big stupid face. Get Reckoner. One, two, and heavy. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna try. I'm gonna parry it. I'm not gonna parry it. I, 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 it has to be fully charged, I realized. Too, too late. Okay, yeah, we'll just perfect guard that, or perfect dodge that, rather. Don't mind me. I should still be doing the uh, the option select there with guard, which I, uh, still not exactly muscle memory. Get Reckoner. 
It, you want to help? No, okay. It must have been in the middle of Reagan living. Let's see, he sometimes, because uh, it is a bit of a longer animation, if he's in dragon mode. So I think that's what causes him to struggle to uh, join the fight sometimes, when it comes to Link attacks. Still though, I think the Golem has enough health that he should be okay here. I'm going to heal myself, because I don't necessarily want to enter crit condition if I get hit. Oh! Look at that. They made him stumble. Well done, folks. Okay, let's hit him really hard here before the Link attack, hopefully. Yes. Wonderful. And Link attack, and Link time, and you are in danger. And the, the best part is this will probably take him into overdrive, which is great. Because when people, right when people enter overdrive is usually my ideal moment where I want to snipe out with uh, Skybound Dart. So yeah, I think I think this was, was this was very well done overall. There you go, push me into the wall so you can't actually send me very far away with your little wind burst there. And now, you are in big trouble, sir. You're going to get hit with that. Fine by me. And then we're going to hit you with all this. It's going to give us basically 100% link, if I remember correctly. And then we're going to just link attack your ass again. All right. And Tide of Chaos usually knocks him away kind of far, but we have a good timing here on our heavies to the point, yeah, where we will be able to uh, reposition. And we got 100% link. Exactly. Exactly. All according to Keikaku. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's not all according to Keikaku. Oh, we just failed the crit condition thing. No. Okay, okay. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Um, I, I could have I could have survived that, of course. But I uh, I did a silly. I forgot that that... Uh, I thought because he, he sets... There's like the little indicators there. Yeah, like those, those little indicators on the ground. The ground's about to explode. Yeah, but even his stomp is an attack, right? And I forgot about that. It hit me the first time, and it also hit me the second time, and it hit me the third time, too. Okay, never mind. Unfortunate. Okay, well, no, uh, there, there, no, no S plus plus for us. Uh, I doubt no S plus probably even, considering how often we uh, we've been going down here. I'm gonna kill him really quick because he's basically he's gonna be pretty close to dead right now, because this link time is also going to lead in very well to a break. Right. So we shall see. It should lead into a break anyway. It'll be it'll be damn close. This heavy might not do it. Oh, especially if he dodges it, it won't. But yeah, one one more grin off. He's really mad, huh? Damn. He is just stomping up and down. Okay, well, this should do it. There you go. Yeah, this is gonna kill him, but it'll be damn close. This, this break here. We'll get a nice opportunity to just beat the hell out of him. There you go. And then one more before the link attack. Get bonk nerd. Link attack. Get bonk nerd. Damn right. All this undying, I suppose. Just so that we can uh, beat him up with impunity here. Yeah, please, by all means, jump up. I want you to hit me, in fact. I want you to come down sooner. There you go. Wonderful. Thanks for the panacea, cat. Though it is unnecessary. Chopped his head off right there. That's kind of cool, eh? The angle that uh, that Vosrago is at there. We kind of were like standing to the right of him and his head was kind of down. It looked like we were coming down with the executioner's sword. You'd love to see it. Okay, well. Hey, first maniac quest, not so bad. I mean, we very easily could have, uh, I mean, damn near S++ that, I think. If I just was a little bit more careful with, uh, like, I went down three times there, and Rockham went, only went down once, right? So the reason that we failed that, uh, ooh, two Mirage Munitions in a Guts 5? Ooh. Um, the reason that we failed that Critical Condition quest was obviously, it was entirely me, right? So if I were a little bit more careful, we probably could have S++ that. But it's fine. It's fine. Hopefully we get some Legendary Merits, though. I would still like to get up to five here. Maybe we, maybe we should go and beat up uh, Galanza. Real quick. Uh, I think we'll get S plus. Uh, we'll get S. I don't think we'll get S plus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe we should go beat up Galanza for all of his, uh, get, you know, bully him, take his lunch money. Because I do need basically, I think, entirely Galanza stuff uh, to uncap Soul Eater for the last time, right? And he's like Silver Wolf Anamnesis and, and Alpha Wolf Fowler and all that. Uh, something like that. So let's let's see. I do have I, I do have all of that stuff on my wish list. Oh, we can report a side quest. Well, <laughs> don't mind if I do uh, real quick, folks. Or, you know how it is? It's, we got fast travel. It doesn't take so long. There you go. Some 700, uh, 700 more of the uh, Z Mastery points. Got a new trophy, Redeemer. Interesting. I have the characters that can unlock over Mastery bonuses. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Id. Yeah, yeah, because Id, once you uh, hit level 80 with any character, right, they get uh, over Masteries. So I guess, yeah, Id can over Mastery too. I, I highly doubt we will ever, ever, ever over Mastery on Id. But it's cool that he's gotten there anyways. Uh, and let's go back to the, the quest counter here. And let's check out. So I search by treasure. Um, I need, yes, I, I, need, I, need, I need all of these things. Is it, are they all just, they're all the extreme mission? No applicable quests are available. Oh, hold on. I see. Because that, uh, the Silver Wolf Clovis there, I think is what it's called. 
we needed that for the, what's it called? The uncapping on Solier. So we're not going to farm Galanza just yet if we can't even get the uncapping off of it. Maybe there's a higher level Galanza quest that drops all of those things. Um, yeah, Solier right here, right? Yeah, the Silver Wolf Clovis we can't get. So I imagine that's also, is Galanza a Silver Wolf? Or no, is that Mana Armor? I'm actually not certain. But uh, so maybe there's a higher level Galanza quest that drops a lot of this stuff. We'll see. We'll see. So we won't uh, we won't actually just go and beat up Galanza yet because we can't uncap the weapon even if we did go off and grind him. So good to know. Uh, let's let's just keep going with the maniac quests then. Good day. All right. Uh, death taxes and goblins and a new breed. Interesting. Okay. What's uh, what, what 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 you got here? Seems the goblins have a new warrior leading them as attacks on trade routes surrounding the old fort are on the rise. If we can take out this leader, the rest of the ne'er do wells should scramble like roaches. Won't you help us again, Skyfarers? The future of commerce rests upon your shoulders. Ah, yes. Uh, okay. Broken Savage Sword, Great Shield Fragment. Nothing too particularly interesting. What are you? Health for. That's awful. Cool, cool. Silver Centrum. So everything is dropping Silver Centrum and Mirage Munitions, huh? Another Guts 5. Um, stamina 4. Interesting. And a random trait. Sure, sure. Uh, we did we did get a better Guts. I suppose it's probably not a bad idea to put that on one of the AI, right? Because I think the only thing that matters, like, when you level up Guts is... Yeah, I guess we give it to uh, it, because he, he doesn't have any source of Guts just yet. So if we give him... It was... Guts is a... It's one of, it's one of those, right? Which is a special, I think, is, is the... Oh, God. Um, hold on. We go here. No. Yeah, yeah. we go here, we go Sword and Filter. We go... Special. There you go. And there's Guts 5. Yeah, so is it just the cooldown on how often it can activate? Yes, keeps going down. Yeah, because obviously the effect can't get any stronger, right? It just lets you survive one uh, one one death blow. So Id should now be very... I mean, he'll, he'll, he has Guts, he's got Auto Revive. It's a, it's a good time to be alive for him. Uh, okay, let's let's go beat up these goblins, I suppose. I think we can maybe do... Uh, I mean, depending, we can maybe do like three more quests or something? If they're all going to take five minutes, like that golem quest, right? Oh, I should have put the... Uh, we got a few Mirage Munitions, right? That I could have put on Soul Eater there. That would have been a good idea, but it's okay. At the end of the day, it's like 20 attack or something. Like, we'll, we'll do it, but it's, it shouldn't make the difference on whether or not we could uh, possibly win this battle in, in a good and efficient fashion. Hello, Mr. Hobgoblin. I always, I can't, I can't help but think Hobgoblin when I look at this guy. Big red goblin? It just, it just screams Hobgoblin to me. I can't just say Goblin Warrior. Uh, enter link time. Okay, that should be easy. Don't enter, enter crit more than twice, also fair. And then just beat him up really fast. Yeah, I, I like this idea. Don't let that draconic power consume. Don't let that draconic power consume. Okay. Unfortunate timing there. You just gonna keep doing this over and over? Yes. Well, luckily for us, the AI are, are seemingly very capable. At, oh yeah, this guy doesn't have super armor sometimes. I forgot about that. Oh, we're out of range. Unfortunate. Oh, he summons boys? That didn't seem fair. Oh, and they got poison arrows. That, that, that seems double unfair. Oh, I'm doing the wrong heavy, but it's fine. We got similar damage caps anyway, so it actually this might be the better heavy, who knows? So it hits twice. Fantasia. Uh, excuse me, sir, I would like to knock you out of your shenaniganry there. Bonk. Did we get a big link attack on this guy? Oh, this guy, okay, yeah, he's, he's a bit smaller. So yeah, he's, he staggers and he goes really far away from us when he does. So we need to be uh, careful about that when it comes to lining up our heavies in link time, in all sorts of situations like that. Uh, I would like to undying, just because I don't want to risk going into critical. Is he going to do it again? No, okay. The shield. No. Hitting him in the shield was never going to be effective. All right, get bonk. Oh, nice accidental parry there. We'll take it. He gets slowed. Oh, wonderful. Yes, the captain does have one of those. Get bonked again. I would like to reposition to, to your back here, so we are completely safe from all of your shield slam nonsense. Okay, well, completely safe. Was maybe a little bit. Uh... Oh, okay, I'm gonna do this. I don't want the guts did actually save us there. That that shield slam did end up hitting us, but uh, we did have guts. I guess I'll keep fighting him. I guess if I'm here and I'm undying, I might as well just keep punching him in the face. Right? There you go. Not so bad. Fantasy. Thanks, Cap. Big bonk. 400k. You love to see it. And another big bonk. Link attack, and another big bomb. Again, we're not going. We're gonna save the skybound dart if we can. Oh, I saw it undying there. I dodged, but I didn't realize that I still had undying, so it was kind of unnecessary. Right, let's heal up. I don't see why not. Oh, perfect. Oh my God, he's on his face. Okay. Prima facie, as they say, in in the legal system. Oh, okay. I should have maybe just let a a regular heavy rip there instead of canceling fully. I think we're out of range. Yes. Oh, but he is slow. 
wonderful product. We're at 100% link time too, so we're definitely gonna get that enter enter link time side quest. Then. And I have not gone into critical so far, and the AI is still uh, they're holding up very well. They seem to be. I mean, they're doing better than I am. So, it's having a wonderful time there, just smashing him into little bits. And uh, yeah, I figured we could we could potentially break him out of whatever attack he looked to be charging there. That big old heavy link time, wonderful. This is gonna do a whole lot of damage to you, Monsieur Goblin. Get bonked, and another one. Oh, bloodthirst. That's no fair. Okay, okay, fine. At least we got a couple of bonks off, and in, in, uh, but I guess he had 50% health. Maybe it's just it's a, it's a threshold trigger. Bloodthirst. Let's kill his friends while we're here, since hitting him right now is not going to be super useful anyway. Oh no, he's not in bloodthirst anymore. Was it? It was just for that charge, I suppose. When he gets to 50% HP. I guess so. Anyways, get Link attacked. I guess uh, I do still. I would still rather save the Skybound Dart for when he goes into into Overdrive, right? But that'll be soon. Maybe I, maybe Link together would be nice just to get more Link gauge. This doesn't hurt. I'm surprised. Do I have Phalanx up or something? The captain must have uh, must have Phalanx up on me. Um, but yeah, we should we should maybe maybe look into some Links together because getting like three Links because we're kind of in an awkward spot here. If we had gained if we gained Link gauge quicker to the point where we would be like closer to getting three Link times a fight instead of two, that would be pretty nice probably. Um, I am burning. That's true. He's jumping on me too. I failed to dodge too. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Let's not uh, throw throw away our potential. Uh, I don't. I think I don't know if you can go down once and still get us plus plus. I mean, we're we're killing him pretty quickly. So maybe maybe coping. Uh, don't mind me. Oh yeah, these guys. These guys are actually really great link attack farms. I just realized, yeah, because they have a whole separate stun gauge, right? Because normally you're kind of time gated on how often you can stun a boss. Anyways, once he goes into overdrive here, this should pretty much be uh, the beginning of the end for him, I think. So he'll go into overdrive. We'll, we'll basically waste all of his overdrive with the skybound dart into the link time there. Bonk. Bonk. There's him going into big bad overdrive pretty soon here. There you go. Oh, he slipped. Well, regardless. You were dead. God, boss rock is so fun. It's just, it doesn't get old. It just doesn't get old. Bonking people like this over and over. The numbers are getting progressively bigger with every bonk, too, so. Every, every, every couple sessions, our, our bonk numbers get larger. So it's like, he's, he's keeping me, he's keeping me thoroughly entertained, I will say. Alright, and then uh, Tide of Chaos will certainly troll us here. But luckily, we're ti again, we timed out our heavies perfectly, so that after Tide of Chaos, exactly. We don't need to worry about how far away he gets blown. Okay, okay, he's doing this. Let's not uh, enter critical in any, any kind of silly fashion here. While we're here, uh, it's blockable. Yes. Well, maybe maybe not when the shockwave had all of its. Ooh, okay. The good thing the captain's got guts. Am I right, folks? Good thing. Uh, otherwise, that could have potentially counted as one of our criticals right there. Oh, oh, I'm dying here. It's because I mean, he's, he's almost dead. This this link time will probably break him. Is my guess. And then from there, he's well. Link time into in like all oh, this this full big vulnerability window here from link time into the full big vulnerability window from getting broken. If he's not dead, he's going to be like a heavy away. I guess there is a bit of overlap here, so that's that's probably why he'll survive. Bonk. And one of those. And oh another bluff first. Okay, okay. Is he just gonna do the charge though? Yeah, he gets his shield back. And does a little charge forward there, and I think that ends his uh his bloodthirst. Get wrecked nerds. Get his friends out of the way, so they can't really uh, be a problem for us. Get the Pallions, and bonked, and slowed. Wonderful. And Link Attack. And this Heavy, I think, might do it if he, if he lets me. Now he's going to do a Shield Charge, okay. Come here, nerd. Wonderful. Get behind him, and bonk. Nice. Bonk indeed. I shouldn't have said bonk with a question mark, I should have said bonk with an exclamation mark. I didn't have enough uh, faith in us. I didn't know if we were going to do 3% with that bonk. Okay, that was nice and easy. Probably not S++, just because we did go down once. And we didn't exactly, we didn't like turbo speed run it. But I'm, I'm, I'm expecting at least S+, plus here. If we don't get S+, plus, I'll be very surprised. Some gold chests, nice. Two more Mirage Munitions. A, sequ a sequestration, right stone. Another Guts 5, this is awesome. We can just give this to all of the AI, basically. I mean, a lot of them, I think everyone has Guts at this point now, but, you know, getting the cooldown lower there is never going to be a problem. I guess we can stack Guts on them too, right? The more Guts we stack, the they can get to, like, level 30, I think, is the max level for most uh, traits. Come on, come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, what? 
Okay, S plus, surely. No, no S plus. I guess, I guess we took too long, and I also went down once. Sad, heartbreaking. Legendary merits. We got a curio. We got a bunch of our failure coins. Okay, okay. Uh, health four, which nobody cares about. Oh, it's health four plus, isn't it? Or oh, maybe the plus things only drop if you. Uh, but we just didn't get them, or maybe it's like you have to hit a certain rank. The sequestration right stone is just weak point damage. I am uh, okay. I'm okay. I don't think I'm particularly interested in any of that. Hey, Charlotta. Hello, Charlotta. Okay. Uh, Wunderbar. A new quest is available. Revenge of the Hordes. We don't say. Uh, do we get anything interesting there? I guess we have the guts, right? Mostly. We we can we can. Oh yeah, we have some masteries too. We can keep filling out bosses' defense side there. Um, but yeah, you have guts three. You actually don't have guts. Okay, okay. So you definitely. Wait, you don't? I guess was that what was? It? Oh no, you do. You do. It's right there. It's on the damage cap. Uh, yeah, we'll get we'll give you guts five though. It's a lot better than guts three. Am I right? Uh, Id has he's totally kitted out. You yes, yeah, so we actually want some auto revive for Rockham if we can handle it. Below profile at least is like keeping him a little bit out of harm's way. Luckily, uh, we do have some mastery suspense. So I guess we can do that real quick, and then we can put some mirage munitions on Soul Eater, and then we'll get right back into it there. Um, so yeah, for example, give me all this extra health, okay. please. Give me this. I suppose. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the dizzy resistance, I guess. Uh, and recover faster from slow, don't mind yeah. if I do. Increased duration of, of mortal pain, we're never gonna complain about that, right? Yeah, yeah, like this stuff is actually useful. It's not just, yeah, a lot of the skills right. here are not useful, but defense up by the Grinoth gauge, I suppose, why not? Uh, is this the increased duration of the slow? Oh yeah, like this This is actually good stuff. This is uh, good eats here, I'm, I'm not upset. Okay. Wonderful, yeah. Uh, well, we're we're getting down there. I mean, this is going to be a lot of mastery points. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but there's sigils. Oh, okay, yeah, right. I forgot about that part. There are extra sigils on the defensive side too. Yes, yeah, so this is very worth it. I'm glad I didn't just start tossing things into uh, into what's it called there into the overmasteries or anything like that. Because yeah, there there are sigils there, so it's very at the very least that makes it worthwhile. Copper spellbook. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll throw that over to uh, one of the non-party members to try and get themselves level sixty. I think Eo probably. We can basically get all the way there at this point if we throw a copper into her. Uh, it's a weird thing to say. That, uh, actually, she's, she's basically there. I think side quests will actually get her there. Rosetta Rosetta could use it a little bit more, I think. Besides, we still have other fate episodes to look at, so we don't need her to be at level 60 right now. Uh, okay, okay, let's let's throw some Mirage Munitions in, and then maybe... Well, we, I think we can maybe do... Welcome. Maybe one more quest, maybe two more quests. It depends on how, how smoothly they go. But for now, imbue... No, uh, Mirage Munitions. There you go. There you go. There's the diminishing returns, huh? I just realized. Yeah, there is. Each of those, I think the first Mirage Munition was like 10 extra attack. Each of those was like 2. So there is definitely, uh, that's unfortunate. But I guess otherwise it would be pretty insane to have a plus 99, huh? It would be like a thousand extra attack. It's still it's still better, right? It's still objectively an upgrade, so. Defeat the Griffin. Ooh, I don't like Griffins. Um, Nimble Onslaught. Legendary Merit, the Giant Beak, Griffin Talon, Exceptional Refinium. Okay, what are you? Uh, Nimble Onslaught, that's like... Is that like something about after rolling you do more damage or something? I can't remember. Uh, Silver Centrum. Everything drops all these. Okay. Uh, Exploiter 5. Okay, okay. Low profile. Dodge payback. I see this. It's not for us. This is not the Vasaraga, uh, the, the Vasaraga mission. Like nothing here I don't think is super useful for us. Maybe I don't know what Nimble Onslaught does. Maybe that's better than I give it credit for. We do do a lot of dodging. So if Nimble Onslaught is like, you know, boosts damage after dodging, then sure. But again, I mean, we're very, very firmly at our damage cap anyway, right? So... Really, we just need, uh, we need we need things that will let us bump our damage cap up. But I think we are still, even after getting the damage cap bump from the Masteries, I think we are still very much uh, hitting damage cap. We're getting the same damage on the Heavy every single time. Hello, Mr. Griffin. I think they look cooler when they're when they're black like this, right? It gives them like a an, a, an air of menacing. You know, City and Raptor? That's a cool name. Oh, okay. He is... Uh, enter link time, don't enter... Okay, yeah, so pretty pretty standard... Uh, side quests here too, or side objectives, I suppose. Oh, okay, unfortunate for us to miss there. We eat those though. We do have almost 10,000 10, health. Huh? Those, oh man, those defensive masteries are uh, really putting in work. Do I immortal pain right away? I feel like that's a waste. Cap's got some panacea for me. It's not healing a whole lot anymore though, just because we have so much health. It's like, I feel like I can't engage with him very effectively when he's in the air like this. Bonk, I, I think hit him. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to... Oh, okay. I guess, we, yeah, when he, I, I, after his attacks, he's, yeah, he's lower to the ground like this for a little bit. This is good. But yeah, see, and now he's back up. Okay, okay, there you go. That that helps. Uh, link attack, please. There you go. 
Oh, but he, he staggers, yeah, again, he's got those those hollow bird bones, man. He staggers so far. I'm okay. Yeah, at the very least, we do have one one uh, one guts that we can pop at some point to keep us alive. So I think that'll we have basically one guts per mission right now, because we have like guts three. So it's once every 300 seconds or something like that that we can guts. Thank you, Cap. Why'd that one heal more at that time? Oh, he must have been at a higher arts level, right? This is my guess. Get Battalion's nerd. I guess he doesn't have a whole lot of health, right, to make up for the fact that it's, it's kind of hard to hit him. He definitely has a lot less health than the Rock Golem, it seems like. Uh, oh, not that, that's still about 3% there. Get wrecked in there. Uh, get slowed. Is this a hittable position? I don't think so. No, no, okay. Yeah, he's, he's just barely above our uh, attacks there. Oh, that'll help. I didn't realize there's a little blue circle there that kind of shows you the radius at which you can link attack somebody. Um, I guess... Ah, I'll wait for him to go into overdrive before I try to, uh, the undying. We oh, slowed. Come on, big heavy. Before he goes into overdrive, wonderful. And now, I suppose, we can, uh, do one of these. Just so I don't have to worry about any of his nonsense. Okay. Okay. I mean, they're all perfect dodging everything. Wonderful. That's exactly what we like to see. I can just sit here and tank it. This is, uh, does not seem to have the same sort of uh, wind shenanigans that Elosius did. He's not he's not restricting the AI's movement, so they're not having so much trouble with that. Uh, we're, we are stuck in this tornado, and Undying's about to... Okay, no, actually, no. I was going to say Undying's about to run out, but I guess... Yeah, that, that extra little bit of time there that I'm not used to, that's probably what we just got from the uh, Masteries there, right? Get bonked. Okay, no, don't get bonked. A bunch of tornadoes out at me instead, you motherfucker. Okay. I guess we'll, we'll do a little bit of healing. We do a little bit of trolling. Do do, uh, do potions use? Like, if I use potions, does that make it harder for me to uh, S plus plus things? Like, should I be should I be trying to get through these missions without using any potions if I want to S plus plus? I don't know. But if you guys do know, please uh, please inform me. I need I require your knowledge. I, I don't think we've popped our guts yet. That, well, actually, does undying pop guts? I don't. I would hope not. Right. I would hope not. I would hope that the game would recognize that, like, oh, I have Undying there, so I'm not going to die anyway. So the Guts rune is, is unnecessary in this case. But I will I, I will admit, I don't know. I can't say for sure. I mean, I guess if, if we get hit here and go down, then then we know that that isn't how that works. I don't think this guy is going to live uh, for long enough for us to do, like, a Link Time into a Super Skybound Art into a Link Time on his ass, right? So I guess uh, next time he goes into Overdrive, I'm just going to super, I'm just gonna Skybound Art him right away, regardless of the state of our Link Gauge. Okay, wonderful. He's slowed. We're just kind of chain slowing his ass. Unfortunate there. We get to still bonk him. Oh, we should be we should be more than uh, good. Oh, actually, you know what? We might not enter link time. I have to be careful. Maybe I should use my super skybound dart right now. Actually, um, yeah, you know what? I might. Maybe that's maybe that's silly. But uh, but I was like I was looking at it and I'm like, if I like. If I let him go into Super Skybound and then, or if I let him go into Overdrive and then I Super Skybound art his ass, we might not even get into Link Time. So this might be a better idea. Dust the dust. All right, here comes the captain. Oh, not here comes the captain. I didn't realize he had so little uh, Skybound. Well, we'll still we still have uh, enough Link Gauge when we started there. This will get us to 100. There he is in Overdrive. There he is in Blood Sets. Okay, so oh, this, this Whirlwind should be the last meaningful thing that he does in this uh, fight. After this, it's probably Link Time into man, into Break, into Nonsense, into him dying. I just hope that we can... I want to get... Oh, no, yeah, but, no, but he, he falls on the ground. I was going to say, I hope the Link Time happens in such a way that we can uh, hit him while we're in Link Time. But yeah, when he goes into that stun state, he falls down. So that should be basically guaranteed for us, luckily. Okay. Oh, okay. Guts. Wonderful. Yeah, so Guts uh, was not used up by Undying. We we did just make that discovery, essentially. Good. I mean, this game is high quality enough that I, I would expect that there wouldn't be like an oversight like that. But I, I wasn't sure. So it's, it's definitely good to see. Okay, there's all the tornadoes. Oh, baby. Okay, well. This is uh, is now quite important that we go, don't go down again. Actually, no. That was our first time? Uh, first time somebody entered Critical? I suppose. I didn't, I didn't realize. Okay, so we have we actually have, we do have a little bit more uh, leeway there than I expected. Get bonked? Oh, okay, no, fortunately not. Okay. And he's doing it again. Come on, sir. Just let me stun you. 
you won't regret it. I mean, you will, but I don't want you to know that. On the right side, he does stay on the ground the whole bunch. When he's, uh, okay, well, I was going to say, when he's in overdrive, he seems to stay on the ground a lot more. I suppose that was wishful thinking. Okay. Get bonked and bonked and bonked and bonked. He's almost in, uh, in stun stick. We'll get there. There goes, little, there goes his, his stupid little feathers. Come on, man. Come, come down here. Fight me like a man. Fight me like a man. Yeah, I'm, I'm... Oh, God. The Griffin fight is, is not Vasaraga's specialty, I don't think. Oh, what the hell? The captain was just... Uh, he, he decided he wasn't he wasn't ready to, uh, to, play, to play along. I guess not. I think we're still going to be good for time. But that's, that definitely uh, is unfortunate. That doesn't help. Bonk. Because now we, we have to wait we have to wait out that sort of link. You can't stun bosses like so many times in a row, right? Oh man, that's bad. I tried to uh, dodge that at the last second, but I also didn't. You know what? That's that's why you do the, the option select, right? If I had failed that dodge, I might have gotten my guard broken, probably, but I might still have been able to survive that hit. Okay, let's get behind him here so that this wind can't hurt us. Oh no, man. Okay, okay, that's unfortunate. I mean, that's I I I, I shouldn't have gone down that one time that I did. No, uh, no, no, no critical condition one for us. And we actually still have not entered link time, actually, as I as I say this. I think I definitely made the, the right call getting our link gauge filled as early on as I did. Because otherwise, I don't know, man. Okay, wait, this guy's gonna, apparently he's gonna break, like, yeah, right now, basically. Uh, we do have to enter link time, though. I'm actually a little bit scared to hit this guy with some big heavies. Might be a better idea to hit him with... Oh, God, I don't think we're gonna do it. I don't think he's got enough health. Okay, wait, Grin off? I think he's dead. I, yeah, yeah, oh well. Oops, I guess. Hey, come on, come on. Stay alive. He's just not taking any stun, man. Oh, okay, okay. That's wild. Yeah, he just... I guess the, the one time the captain, I should have been... Maybe I should have waited a little bit longer to link to make sure that everyone was ready, but the captain has never missed a link time before. I wonder what he was doing. He must have been in the middle of casting a skill, like, right when he needed to, to do it. Oh, well. Still, I mean, again, that, look, the, the good thing is none, nothing that that fight drops seems particularly interesting to me. So it's not going to be really sad uh, for whatever we missed out on there. Ooh, Exploiter 5, Low Profile 5. Maybe I need to give Low Profile to more of the AI, too. The boss just targets me most of the time. That could be a good thing. I think, I think that's probably right, yeah. Skip this scene, yes, please. Wah, wah. S, S rank, at least? No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, that's barely not. Unfortunate. Uh, legendary merits. Those are getting to be very uh, plentiful, so that's good. Low profile five, exploiter five. I don't think we necessarily care too much about exploiter, but it's not nothing. Uh, you have a side quest you can report. Oh, baby, don't mind if I do. Uh, reportable. Yas. I guess you wanted us to kill a Griffin. Griffin Talons. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Mirage Munition. What a, what a time to be alive. This guy's name is Motivated Game Designer. You know what? Based. Based. Uh, okay, let's go back to... Let's go... We have a couple of Curios, I think. At least two or something for Zothba. Or is it just the one that we just got? No, yeah, we got three. Uh, give me something good, Zothba. Come on. Come on. That's more like it. Mirage Munition, Rafaeli Coin, and... Ah! That's awesome. Okay, so that's... Uh, this is a big one, right? Uh, so, obviously, there's Supplementary Damage 5, which is better than this, right? But I, I'm, I'm glad I'll take this. Uh, this basically is... Uh, we were talking about... Ooh, new Archive Entry. What the hell? Uh, jackpot. Is that because we got something good? We got a, a legendary sigil from, uh, from Zathba there. But yeah, the supplementary damage rune is pretty nice, right? Because basically, to my understanding, it adds sort of a second hit to all of our, uh, attacks. Um, well, we already have Link Together 5, actually. Yeah. Which gives us more Link level gain. Yeah, yeah. So I think I, I do want to keep that, but may maybe we don't need Tyranny anymore. So at least not for now. Maybe... What is, what is the least useful for us? Quick, I guess the third quick charge is probably pretty diminishing returns, right? Um, from from 21 to 14. What's How about the charge time, actually, is the important part, not even the damage there. Uh, let's, let's get... I don't think we need the... Uh, I don't think we need the, uh, the the charge attack extra damage there. It's fine. We're, I think we're already hitting damage cap. But yes, so where where do you, where do you go? Um, special... No, I want attack... And it is supplementary damage four. Wonderful. Yeah, so the way that this works, to my understanding, grants a certain chance for normal attacks and damage skills to deal supplementary damage. Yes. So it's 24%, which is, you know, not very high right now. Obviously, you want, I think, is it 100% at the at the max? Yes. Yeah, 45 is the max, not 30, I see. 
But yeah, so that's obviously wonderful. But supplementary damage is, I think, uh, a twenty percent of the damage that you dealt. You know, gets dealt again, basically. And the nice thing about that, obviously, is that it is just it uh, is a separate hit, so it doesn't it doesn't get messed up by damage cap. So it is basically, if this is one hundred percent, you are getting um, twenty percent extra damage just flat, right? So which is which is very very strong. Obviously, you know, supplementary damage four is a far cry from level forty five supplementary damage, but we're, it's it's a great start. Um, it's basically a 24 we, it's a 24% chance to super crit. We have a 91% chance to crit, and now we have a 24% chance to super crit. So that's, uh, I, I will gladly take that. Uh, okay, awesome. That's probably going to just about do it for our sort of main section of the episode here. We'll, uh, deal with, oh, Glitterstone, nice. Well, we'll do a bunch of, uh, little side stuff here real quick, and then we'll head into Story Corner. But, uh, we're not, not exactly yet. We do have still, yeah, more Masteries to fill out, and then we have, uh, some Mirage Munitions to add and things like that. Extends the duration of Undying, extends the duration of Slow. I actually would rather have, yeah, both of these, yeah, rather than dipping too far into either one. And then from there, we can figure it out. Uh, healing received, healing bestowed. Recover faster from SBA sealed. What the fu- I don't think I've ever seen that. Well, that's scary. It's a scary looking- Oh, guard break resistance. That actually sounds oh. useful. Um, and then SBA sealed? What the hell? Yeah. I've never seen that before. That is a scary concept, I tell you what. Um, okay, awesome. But yeah, so we're- There's masteries handled for now. Uh, let's go to the blacksmith real quick. No, maybe maybe we can do uh, maybe we can do a little bit of gamba. Just a little bit of gamba. We, you can have a little gamba as a treat. What do you guys think? We, let's let's do uh, one. Let's do like one voucher pull from Sierra or something. To uh... yeah, so that, yeah, so six of these. Yeah, it looks like they're about two each now. There's still ten HP. Actually, was it always? No, am I stupid? Was it literally always ten HP and two attack? It actually might be. Um. Yeah, yeah, it actually always was. The, the thing I said earlier about diminishing returns was just patently false. I think I, I got the, the 10 HP that it gives mixed up with the 2 attack that it gives. I thought it went from 10 attack to 2 attack. No, that was never the case. Uh, okay, plus 14 Soul Eater. You, you love to see it. Uh, okay, yeah, let's 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 do, uh, again, once again, you, you can have a little bit of Gamba as a treat. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like we have a, a somewhat better idea of what we might want to uh, get turned into vouchers here. So, for example, uh, I don't care about you. Don't, don't, don't have this equipped. Wait a minute. What 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 right what right stone is on Soul Eater? Is it another is it another vitality right stone? Uh, is there not an easy way to tell? Wait, is it is there no right stone on Soul Eater? Am I losing my mind? I could have sworn we had a we had a crit rate uh, right stone on Soul Eater. Uh, upgrade weapons. No, it's uh where where is upgrade city? Where do you put uh, the right stones on them? Yeah, so he does have a vitality right stone, but how do you how would you how would you swap it out? Imbue. Oh, it's imbue. Right, yeah, yeah. So this one is crit hit. And Aegis, and this one is just crit hit. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, so that is that is just patently worse. Good. All right, so yeah, we can trade that away to Sierra with uh, no no remorse there, no worries. I do love Sierra's voice. I, I'm like I could see how maybe someone could see, uh, could find it a little bit grating, but I don't find it great. I, I think it's it's very cute. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, I'm I'm totally fine with this. Please get out of my inventory. Uh, sigils. Yeah, I don't care about you at all. Uh, attack powers, like, yeah, any of these. Can I sort and filter here as well? Yes. Trade all. What the hell? Oh, God, what? Trade all common. Is that a horrible idea? Oh. Uh, no, yeah, looking at all of those, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't think I'll miss any of those. Uncommon. Um, yeah, no, no, all these twos, I don't think I care about. Okay, okay, but do we want to get crazy? Trade all rare. Huh? Huh? Uh, fast learner, rupee tycoon. No, no, because some of these we surely have equipped on people. Oh man, I wish I. Does it? Maybe it, wait, no, but maybe it, it doesn't trade out anything that's equipped. Damage cap three plus. No, no, that damage cap three plus. There, we definitely that's the exact one that we have on Vasaraga. So no, no, we can't trade out all rare. But maybe we could trade out all rare. All rare basic stats. Eh? Thoughts? Thoughts? Uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Is that tier? That, no, we have a tier only four. Hmm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You can't stop me. <laughs> okay, now I and now I go back and uh, I see if I have a, an oh no second. Does it work? Did, uh, is Vosraga missing any sigils? No, he's not. Perfect. It was a tier only four. Awesome. Uh, I don't think any of the AI will have gotten anything taken off there either. I don't think I have any level three basic stats on them. No, I do not. Wonderful. Okay, yeah. So uh, I, I I'm scared now. So we are going to probably stop trading things in for now. We're just going to do a couple of transmutations. This should be, I mean, this should be good stuff, right? Good stuff. Dread Redstone. St oh, stun power, Rupee Tycoon, and attack. Stun power. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Not not amazing. Oh, tier another Tyranny 4. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. 
Uh, oh, a sequestration white or right stone. I thought. Oh, for, I thought that was the crit ones. Never mind. Uh, okay, and exploiter uh, four. Okay, okay. The the uh, the dread right stone there is actually interesting stuff because stun power is kind of you know it will let us get more link time. If we can get to 100% crit rate without our Vitality Right Stone there, when we uncap uh, Ulcera or Soul, Soul Eater, for example, you know uh, for damn sure that I'm going to be uh, doing doing that right there. Uh, oh, well, don't mind if I do. Look at this. Recycle, reuse, re uh, reduce, reuse, recycle. Uh, please get away from me. And you know what that means, folks? More Gamba. I can see how this gets. Uh, this this does get kind of addicting. Huh? I do just. I, I want. I want to do more Gamba, man. I want to do more Gamba. Ooh, fortification right stone. It's all. It's, it's oops. All right stones. Interesting. Uh, I don't think I care about that either. Um. Hey. Hey. What do you guys think? Do you think we can? Yeah. Yeah. We can. Um. Okay. Okay. I mean, we're, we're at 19, guys. We have. We got to do a little bit more. We got to do a little bit more. We got to do a little bit more. Uh. We can. We can do a little bit more, can't we? Um. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, you know what? <clears throat> hear, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. What if we do? Uh, rare, epic, and legendary, but they're basic stats, guys. They're basic stats. Yeah, it's just a health four, uh, an attack four, and an attack power four. Oh, or attack power five. I don't care about any of these things. I don't care about any of these things. It's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, yeah. That's equipped on on it. He doesn't need it. I feel like I'm like I'm like I'm like selling my car to buy drugs right now. Uh, M we, we don't we don't we don't do we don't do M8 around here anymore. There you go. Now now we have we have enough for uh, we have enough for two more pulls, guys. We have enough for two more pulls. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good, surely. Huh? Enmity 4. Okay, well, we traded in with Enmity for Enmity, unfortunately, but... Uh, and Nimble Defense 4. What is Nimble Defense? Is that the... It increases the uh, invulnerability window on a dodge, I think? Okay, okay I, need to, I, need to, I need to stop. I need to stop. But uh, I think that's what Nimble Defense 4 is, right? Uh, sort. Defense. Uh, rarity, yes. Nimble Defense 4. It is... Extends invincibility after a perfect dodge. Oh, I see, I see. It doesn't, it doesn't extend the iframes on the thing itself. Why would this give us 12,000 extra health? What? Oh, cause tyranny. Yeah, yeah, or two thousand. Yeah, cause tyranny reduces our max HP. Right, right, right. No, it's okay. Okay, okay. That's that's enough gamma. That's enough. I, I need to. I need to. The, the machine's hot. It's it's due. It's due. I'm due. Okay, it's gonna pay out. But but maybe not right now. Maybe next episode. Uh, okay, awesome. Well, uh, for all of you non-story corner folks, that's gonna do it for this here episode. We're gonna we're gonna obviously be playing a lot more relink here. But for now, I'm going to run you through the outro. If you are un un uninterested in watching fade episodes, so. If you made it this far in the video, as always, I got four things here. You know how it is. For number one, uh, join the Discord server. There's a bunch of nice people there. It's a link in the description. First off, if you want to know how to join. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of nice people there. You can go hang out, make friends, talk about uh, Relink, talk about fighting games, primarily fighting games for sure. But, you know, there's a Relink channel, there's an art channel, there's a music channel. People talk about gotcha games, Arknights, Honkai Star Rail, anything you want yeah, you want to talk about, honestly. Uh, TV shows, etc. Uh, it's a nice place to go and make some friends. Uh, of course, I implore you to join, but I also implore you to keep it the currently nice and welcoming place that it is. Um, I haven't really had to do any moderation or anything like that, but I won't hesitate to drop the ban hammer on somebody's ass if I have to, so just don't let that be you. Don't be the first person I ever have to ban. That's not a good reputation. Uh, of course, number two, uh, if you liked the video, and I sure hope you did, get down there and like the damn video, man. Come on, it's free. It don't cost nothing. Really upset the channel. I appreciate it a lot, of course, while you're there. For number three, that uh, subscribe button, the bell button, they are all the way over there, but they will keep you up to date with all this content as it comes out. I mean, we've got something in the realm of like two hours of content, sometimes more, three, four hours of content coming out every day here with the fighting game time slot at noon and the relink time slot at 7 p.m. EST. So. Unless you have all that free time every day to dedicate to little old me, which if you do, I appreciate it. But if you don't, which most of you probably don't, I implore you to hit those two buttons there. It'll keep you up to date when something uh, new is uploaded, and then maybe you can uh, you can you can watch it later when you get a chance. And of course, number four, most importantly, more important than ever, buttons you smash or whatever YouTube friendly interactions you hit me with. I appreciate those, but I hope you had a great time hanging out today. As always, I know I sure did. Right, the game's fun. Right, we're we're out here. It is just it's just straight boss fights now. From now on, it is straight hands. We just have to uh, hit things really hard and and to gather those materials. We're almost at uh, our our last uncapping here for Soul Eater Two, which is very exciting. Uh, the Gamba, we've, we've officially unlocked the ability to uh, gamble to get dopamine out of this video game, which always makes any video game better, of course. So, having a lot of fun with Relink. It's going to be a lot more coming your way, but for now, if you are not one of the Story Corner folks, then I will see you in the next one. Peace. Alright, Story Corner individuals. Uh, let us... So we finished Catalina's episodes last time, right? Yeah. So we, we uh, I guess, I did say afterwards I was going to just keep working on the captain. One, because he's the last remaining person in the party who we haven't done the fate episodes for. So, you know, some extra stats could, will never hurt. Uh, but two, uh, it's also just like, it's interesting stuff, right? It's Lyria, it's Vern, right? They're, they're, these are uh, characters that I am definitely interested in hearing more about. So let's get going here. Hey, it's Id. What's he doing here? This isn't his fate episode. I'm going to go get this report turned in. Okay. Much thanks, Captain. Paperwork is. Mm. <laughs> Since the crew started Not his helping strong Ed suit, maybe. job as the new Mister Fix It, we'd been really busy. The shop was completely flooded with requests. Those sad days when the Islanders didn't trust Id—they seemed like a lie now. 
again, it's wild what the problems of this island has, right? Like, they're like, it's this little island in the middle of nowhere, right? Folka here, a little quaint little place. And they're like, hey, you go kill this elder dragon for us. It's it's messing with our trade routes. Lyria, how are you feeling today? It asked me that every time we met. Hmm. We're all worried about you. How's the lifelink holding up? Lifelink? Right. Our lifelink. Everyone thought it might have weakened when I was absorbed by Angra Mainyu. Oh. Honestly, I had been really scared back then. But now, with the weight of the sky off our shoulders, I felt better than ever. That's good. I flashed Vern and Id a smile to let them know I was okay. Talking about the lifelink brought back memories, and I realized it still knew almost nothing about our adventures. Yeah, like how they met or anything like that, how the lifelink even Halina's happened. Halina's daring rescue of me and our escape from the Earth Day Empire. We knew this. Then I described the big trees of Zinkin still, and the Imperial Hydra, and the sad reason I needed to make the life link with the captain. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, look at this. I, I a lot of this like sort of the, the the lore here. I'm actually familiar with now. Look at this. The, the fate episodes have added up. Eventually, we met Rackham and Eo, yeah. Rosetta and Eugen, and before we knew it, our ship was full. <sighs> it's really amazing how much our family has grown. What a pleasant voice. The whole time I'd sat there. In silence, yes, but I could tell he was giving me 110% of his attention. Oh, did he just read it as I'd? Yeah, I had that, so I, I think the voice actress, uh, maybe, I, maybe I misheard that, but I feel like he said the whole time I'd sat there. I, I, I this, this was happening to me when I was just reading it uh, kind of silently. I, I kept reading it as like, yeah, Lyria saying I'd do this or I'd want to do that, right? I think the voice actress just made the same mistake. That's cute. Since getting to Zega Grande, we've had a heck of a wild ride. But now that things have calmed down, we can get to making some good memories. Yeah, like fighting Lucillus. Sure. I suppose. I think I'm starting to understand it. Sure, he has two modes, cold and colder. But if you really pay attention, you can see he has a warm enough heart. Yeah, it's not like a bad guy. He's just literally, like he was, he just doesn't know how to talk to people. Ed, the captain, <laughs> how to, the How crew? to socialize. You're the best friends I could ever ask for. Here's to hoping we'll be together forever. You're just hoping, man. Friendships are tough, right? Especially when there's not uh, something that's necessarily bringing you together all the time. Like maybe, I mean, for, for maybe in their case, you're, you're all adventuring together to go see, uh, find Estelucia, the end of the sky, right? But uh, in, in, in a more realistic human case, maybe you guys all go to school together or you have like some something that always brings you uh, together constantly, right? Uh, so that's, it's, it's, it's really nice and easy then. But of course, if you really care about people, which right, everyone has people that are very important to them, right? And actually you'd be surprised how much effort it is to properly maintain a relationship with those people, right? Once like say you're all, you're all, you all go to, to university or high school or together or something. And then once you're all going your separate ways and you're not necessarily seeing each, you're not forced to see each other every day, essentially. Uh, it becomes a lot of efforts to ensure that you are friends forever, as it were. But it's worthwhile effort, man. When you find people, you find your people, don't let them go. Don't uh, don't let them just drift away. Okay, let's see. More, uh, more, more, you know, general uh, Mr. Fix Id activities. Vern is so After cute, man. After some exciting paperwork, I returned to find Lyria and Vern taking Id on a walk down memory lane. Yeah, I catch him up to speed, you know? You guys have seen some amazing things. This was coming from someone who survived Lilith's schemes and won a mind battle with a god dragon. I was gonna say. We'd all been through a lot. No, no one here has had a normal life. It's all because the captain looked out for us. Yep, my butt is epic. You saw him save Lyria in this whole freaking sky dome? It was kind of cool when we did that. Vern, open mouthed. Where was all this coming from? Praise is important. I'm just trying to be vocal about my appreciation, remember? Wow. So yeah, take care of Lyria and keep up the good work. Man, I think we talked about this maybe the last time that uh, we had this discussion or last time we watched the uh, fate episodes of the captain, but wow, God, I love that sentence, you know? As again, it can be tough, man. Just because like, obviously you, uh, there's people in your life that you love and appreciate, but you might think that it's super obvious like, because to you, it is so clear internally. You, you have access to all of your thoughts, right? So it is so clear to you internally, just like how much you love this person or how much you care about them. But that, I'm just trying to be vocal about my appreciation. Duvern is absolutely spitting. Just like uh, some, some, some kind words every now and then, it's free. It, it takes you five seconds to say, but it can, uh, you know, it can, it can last for with, with people uh, for like months, years, sometimes their I entire life, depending on, on what that. you said. So, Vern is absolutely spitting there. Just remembered, 
Sierra got us a whole bag of sweets as thanks for all our hard work. Oh. Lyria and Vern exchanged a glance so charged, I thought the air between them was going to burst into flame. <laughs> you should have told us that first. Early dragon gets the grub. Hey, no fair. Come on, Vern. Way. <laughs> and just like that, they were off. <laughs> foodies, right? Is it foodies if it's candy? Captain. I feel like I don't usually associate foodies with like you know, children's sweets. Oh, no. Okay, Ed, what's up? The mu the happy music's gone. I turned around, about to ask, you want some too? But one look at Id's knitted brow, and the question died on my lips. Okay. Let's do. Whoa. Did I just hear that right? Why, though? Did he have something against cookies? <laughs> I saw the, the complete contrast between uh, the captain and Id. Let's duel, huh? Sorry. It was the stories about your adventures. They put the thought into my head. Okay. Oh, that's why... No, I still got nothing. That's good. I want to protect Lyria just as much as you do. So he wants to see how her strength compares, I suppose? He stalked away then and left me staring after him. I was still having trouble piecing together his train of thought. But one thing was clear. He was doing it for Lyria's sake. Yeah, yeah, like, it's not, there's no malicious intent there, but it's just, again, just, like, not the sort of normal human reaction you might expect there. Um, okay, so, yeah, we are, we are kind of a crossroads here. I could, use, I could either make this kind of a uh, slightly shorter story corner, right, and we can we can go through the captain's, uh, we, can, we can end here, or we can basically, because once you do these quests, you basically have to finish the rest of it, right? Like, it's, the, the epilogue wants to be pretty short. I think what I'm going to do, just because the quest might take a little bit of time, it might be a whole boss fight or something. Uh, I am interested in one thing. Someone at one point was like, hey... So Lyria's journal, don't forget, is, is a is a valued member of these story corners. Uh, there is a glossary here, it's my understanding, that kind of just goes over a whole bunch of stuff. Um, may, though, I guess maybe this this could be its very own uh, story corner at some point here, right? Because I think there's there's interesting stuff. But let's let's see if there's any new uh, character notes, possibly any new field notes. Oh, damn, yeah, there are. Okay, uh, so this the, the captain stuff is just seemingly a yeah, a lot of it seems to be. Stuff that just is updating what happened in the story. Yes. Okay. So rolling, we know about Galanza, Lilith. Okay. There's no one, no one new in here necessarily. Uh, there's, wait. There's, there's entries for the right stones. Sorry, I'm just kind of looking around right now. I guess so. This crystal surges with the power of Zega Grande's primeval god of vitality. When fused to a weapon, it grants the wielder extra sensory concentration. Who is the primeval god of vitality? Of sequestration. Infused to a weapon, it grants the wielder ver vicious instincts. Primeval God of Fortification and Primeval God of Dread. Who are they? I mean, I guess they're not any of the primal beasts that we're familiar with, right? It's not like, it's not Fury Cane. It's not, um, hold on, Mana Garmer, Vulcan Bola, Angramanu. I got Angramanu's not Zeka Grande, I suppose. It's another one, Excavalion, I think. Is Excavalion a, a primal beast? I'm actually not sure. He's like a mechanical construct, but anyways. Um, yeah, I guess, is there just like a primal beast for everything? Because again, every every Skydom does seem to have its own primal beasts, right? Like, uh... Sega Grande has Fury Cane, but then Zinkin still had Tiamat, and they were both wind primal beasts. So I assume every Skydom kind of has their own uh, primal beast there. Oh yeah, proto Bomba, let's uh, he's weak to light. Interesting. Okay, so I guess he's a boss fight at some point. Uh, this colossal dragon acts as a guardian to Brick and Lyria. The, though bound from snout to tail, it possesses the might to devastate all that stands in the Grand Cypher's path. Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, you can, oh, look at this! Yo, this is so cool! You can check out 3D models and things like that. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, and I see it. Well, I mean, it's like the bindings on the tail there are not... Like, is that really doing a whole lot? Or, like, the bindings on the snout, I get it. It keeps him from opening his mouth, basically. But, like... Oh. He's weak to light, huh? That's a damn shame. There is while well, this is basically a beast here. You know, it shows you. Look at bro, who's weak to there's nobody who's who's weak to dark, I swear to god. Yeah, like ABS Lancer. Wonderful. Um It really is just like It was like just Magliel, I think, right? Yeah, the Sword Veil Fellowship and Magliel. Oh, Taiwa Tar! Okay, that's good. That, that, that fight is actually I forgot about that. That fight's actually kind of tough. Um yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the gold slimes are weak to dark. Hold on a goddamn minute. Okay, okay, interesting. Yeah, okay. I think uh, a little bit, a little bit of a uh, scatter shot at uh, end there, at the story corner. But I was, I, I was, I was kind of looking around. I was like, I don't want to necessarily do that full side quest for the captain, but we were still a couple minutes short. So we took a little bit of a look around here in the, in the notes, right? I mean, I guess there's, there are, there are all of these, which you might have to uh, read at some point too. But we'll see, we'll see. 
I mean, honestly, I I, I remember I, I used to say very confidently, you know, it's like, oh, we'll uh, we'll we'll very we'll run out of story to explore before we run out of grant uh, relink episodes to record, right? And that's probably still the case, but it's not going to be by uh, quite the the landslide that I expected. Uh, the game has been progressing a little bit faster than I thought it was. Uh, but anyways, that's gonna that's gonna do it for our story corner here. Next time we'll finish off all of the Captain Sight uh, Fate episodes and probably probably start up someone new too because um, those tend to be pretty pretty short. Like the quest will take a while, but then the last two tend to be like a minute long or something. Uh, but yeah, not gonna run you guys through the whole outro as always. You guys already heard it when the non Corey St uh, Corey Storner yes when the non Story Corner folks uh, took their leave. So for now, all I'm gonna say is I'm having a lot of fun with Relink and I'm having a uh, more fun, you know, exploring the characters in the story with a bit more knowledge. And uh, yeah, gonna be a lot more coming your way. But for now, I will see you in the next one. Peace.